I'm not to take my eyes off these bombs until every one of them has been counted, tested, and loaded. Tested? If we want Liberty Prime to reach peak fighting efficiency, no, that makes we can't sense. afford to lose this stock. That makes bottle. sense. Dismissed. Night. Okay, well, thanks. Uh, yeah, no, that does make sense, sort of, really, I guess. Keep someone here. Now that they know we want to take the nukes, we don't want them to come... Because they, they might be saying, oh, yeah, no, you can take them. And then we leave here and... Next. It's not a fret. Is it? I know these guys, these guys get a bit freaky about this sort of thing. Ooh. All right. So I got to take the... Whoa. Got to take the trip back alone. I can do that. I don't need anyone. For those of you that don't remember, we've secured the nukes. We've secured secured the nukes. Whoa, that's looking a little better now, isn't it? Whoa, okay. And our vertebrates should give us the air superiority we need to win this war. Proctor. Excuse me, Proctor Ingram. Looks like the Mark 28s are gonna do the trick. That was a good find. I'll work with your team to ensure that Prime's bombs remain stable after they're loaded into his pack. Her voice still it won't freaks be too me much out. Of a problem. Well, Dr. Lee, I have to admit, we couldn't have done this without you. It's a little early to begin celebrating, Proctor Ingram. We haven't fully thrown the switch on Liberty Prime, and I'm just hoping all the work I've done to keep his system stable are gonna hold. <laughs> yes, no! I have full confidence in the abilities of everyone here. Of course I, I do. appreciate that. Proctor, all the readouts look green. I think it's time for you to perform the power shunt. <gasps> Actually, I think I'm going to let you press the button. After all, without your help, we'd still be staring at a pile of disassembled parts. It would be better if a trained technician performed that task. One of you press the gun! I suppose you deserve to be the one to do it. Me! No, you. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna do the same thing, but no, it should be you. No, it should be I'm gonna press it. I pressed it. Liberty Prime back online. Hi. Alright, let's run a basic diagnostic on him. Diagnostic command. Accepted. Give him a moment. He needs to adjust to his new configuration. Voice module online. Audio functionality test initialized. Just in case, you never know. Designation Liberty Prime Mark II. Mission The Liberation of Anchorage, Alaska. Primary targets any and all red Chinese invaders. Now let me run a system analysis and battle readiness check. Liberty Prime. Full system analysis. All systems. Nominal. Weapons. Hot. <laughs> okay, that was a little Warning. creepy the way he said Nuclear that. Nuclear weapon payload depleted. Delighted. Payload required. Weapons. Hot. Warning. Power core offline. Running on external power only. Core restart. Recommended. Ability to repel red Chinese invaders. Compromised. I've got green lights across the board here. He's looking good from where I'm sitting. Doctor, if you wouldn't mind keeping an eye on the big guy here, I'd appreciate it. Well, I have to admit, I wasn't sure we'd be able to pull it off, but Liberty Prime's looking pretty good. Uh... What was that? Yee, yee, yee. What was that he said about his power core? Prime's in top shape, but his nuclear engine needs to be restarted. Right now, we have him running off of the Pridwin's engines. Once I get that sorted out, we'll send him off to kick in the Institute's front door. Before you head off to your next assignment, I have something for you. I came up with this little beauty myself. I think it'll add a bit more punch to your power armor. Medic pump. Uh, uh, you think I'll need it for my next assignment? I don't know, but it never hurts to be prepared. 
Anyway, that's enough of that. Couldn't I make Better one of those? Hightail it up to the Pridwin. Elder Maxon said he needed to speak to you as soon as you were done here. And thank you, Knight. Without you, none of this would have been possible. Okay, uh... Thank you. Okay, okay. The Institute and their technological stop at any cost. Okay, okay, okay. Blind betrayal. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. Try not to push you over. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is pretty impressive in VR. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, okay. I, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, we were going uh, that way. And. All right. I never get used to coming up on that side. Not that dangerous. I've been kicking its backside. Is there anything you wish to tell me, Knight? Um, I'm a great dancer. Wait. Uh, I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. I'm not sure. Uh, not. Uh... Not at all. I have nothing to hide. I find that very hard to believe. Proctor Quinlan completed the decryption of the data you retrieved from the Institute. A portion of his findings included a list of synths that went missing or escaped from their underground facility. After careful analysis of the information, we've discovered something. Unprecedented. Paladin Dance is a perfect match for one of the synths on that list. What? There has to be some kind of mistake. In my experience, Proctor Quinlan doesn't make mistakes. The data you brought back included a record of each subject's DNA. We keep the same information on file for all of our soldiers. Paladin Dance's DNA is a perfect match for a synth they called M797. To make matters worse, N7 he's gone AWOL, nine, disappeared without a trace. His sudden absence simply reinforces our conclusion that M797 and Paladin Dance are one and the same. I'm finding it difficult to believe that he never confided in you, and then swore you to secrecy. Why? First of all, why would he confide in me if he is a synth, and we haven't determined he is? Because Dance is my boy. But wh why would... Wh Whoa, yeah, I find it very hard to believe he's a synth program for infiltration. I find it very hard t to believe that, that one day he didn't break down and admit that. What? Something wrong, Knight. Yes, your thought process. Mm -hmm. You have to believe me. He never told me he was a synth. <laughs> Apparently, I've misjudged you, which means I've decided to take you at your word. However, that doesn't absolve you of your duty. Dance is a synth. He represents everything we hate. A monstrosity of technology. Our mission in the Commonwealth is clear. The Institute and its creations need to be destroyed in order to preserve our future. Which leaves me facing the most difficult order I've ever given. I'm ordering you to hunt down Dance and execute him. It's... But, uh... I mean, I get it. It's a synth, and he's, like, infiltrated us and everything. And I get it, totally, if it's true. But, like, you know... Knight. I know, it's just, like... I get it, like... But even if you just... If, if I had, like, a favourite car and I'd given it a name and you asked me to crush it, I'd still be like... Really? Isn't there some other way? Absolutely not. My decision is final. Listen, I'm not blind to the fact that Dance was your mentor, and this isn't an easy burden to bear. 
But if we're to remain strong, we can't afford to make exceptions. Even when it means executing one of our own. Find Proctor Quinlan. He's been analyzing the data and should be able to provide you with a starting point. And Knight, there's a promotion for you riding on the results of these orders. So don't disappoint me. You're dismissed. <laughs> Speak to Proctor Quinlan. Do I, what do we think? Are we killing him? Attention. It's dance. Any personnel who have not completed their annual medical evaluation should report to Knight Captain Cade immediately who to schedule an was examination. This oh, Knight. I was told that is all. coming. Sorry about this business with dance. I mean, I mean, he's a synth, and I have a duty to kill him. But, uh. <laughs> you know. He's Buzz Bloody Lightyear! What do you know about this situation? While I was decrypting all of the data you acquired from within the Institute, I came across a list. It appears that the Institute keeps exemplary records where their synths are concerned, including logging those that were reported missing. As I was perusing this list, I came across an image of Dance under the heading M797. A quick DNA comparison with our own records told the rest of the tale. I'm certain this comes as quite a shock to you, Knight. I'm sorry. M797. Like, seven. Is that like T or is it like an A? I can never remember. Is seven usually A your when you say seven? Is disconcerting. Show your resolve and kill him. Seven is T. That makes more of M T G T. M T G T. Relief is not an A, I guess. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, is this going to take much longer? Yes. Because of that, even longer. I don't want to talk about it. I understand. On to your orders, then. I've been poring over Dance's duty reports, and unfortunately, I haven't found any concrete information. As you're well aware, Dance had intimate knowledge of the Commonwealth, and I'm afraid he could be seeking refuge anywhere. I think our best approach would be to identify every location he's ever visited and eliminate them as possibilities one by one. You may want to get comfortable. This could take quite a bit of... What the hell is this crap about Dance being a synth? I assume your outburst was a reference to some doubt regarding Dance's identity. I can assure you that my findings are quite accurate, Scribe. So he sets Dance up, and then you knock him down. Is that it? Whoa. Whoa. Uh. Uh. How did you hear about it? There are no secrets in the Brotherhood. Maxon's made it clear that we're to locate <laughs> Paladin Dance. It's a pretty big secret. Him, report his location to you. That can only mean you've been sent to hunt him down. So, uh, I don't like your tone. I sort of, I mean, order, orders are, yeah, I mean, like, uh, just... Orders are orders. Orders are orders? That's all you have to say? I just can't believe that after everything Paladin Dance did for you, you're there just wasn't gonna another option. turn your back on him There like wasn't this. a bad There's option! There's obviously been a mistake. Don't and we blame need to get to the me for the it. crappy Strike dialogue! Him. You're addressing a senior officer, and you will show him the respect that he's due. Or so help me, I'll have you brought up on charges. Now, unless you're here with information that can assist us, I suggest you return to the police station immediately. Of course. My apologies, Proctor. I believe I have some information that's relevant to the search. Very well, then. Would you care to enlighten us? Or do we have to wait until you decide to grace us with your knowledge? Knight, wow. if you'd accompany me to the flight deck, I'd like to show you the information I've compiled firsthand. Oh, I've yeah. I've stored the data on my Vertiberg gunship's computer. I don't know where this is going. I'll take anything that gets me closer to finding Dance. Yes, sir. Proceed, Knight. I'll continue doing my research here. If yeah. you'll follow me, sir. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. You, you. Let's go and talk somewhere private. You can try and say don't do it, right? Yes, yeah, what you're gonna say? That's, yeah. Dude, dude, I'm following. Yeah, that's really rude. I hate it when people do that. It's obvious two people are walking together. You just walk in the middle of them. It's just. Although I sort of understand what. What? I'm awaiting. Oh, you know what? I've never been down here. Oh, it's above us, the cat. I've never actually been down here. Huh? Taking that. Is it? Scribe Halen. Do you actually plan on killing Paladin Dance? I don't know. Eh. I haven't decided yet. Well, before you do, I need you to listen to what I have to say. Oh. I've known Paladin Dance ever since I was an initiate. He you trained knew. me, showed me the ropes. You knew. And when I screwed up, he taught me to dust myself off and move on. He's earned my admiration, my respect, uh. and my friendship. I don't care what Quinlan's report says. I don't care if he's a machine or not. He still dance. I kind of get it. You, you sympathize with the traitor. Well, we don't know he's a traitor. He might not even know or didn't know or... He... Why are you telling me all of this? Because someone has to before you rush off and carry out Maxon's orders without thinking about what you're doing. Dance is the most me? selfless person I've ever met. I don't met. rush off and I've do things without thinking. I've watched him risk his own life based on nothing more than principle alone. That's why I'm asking you. Not just as a member of the Brotherhood, but as a human being. Give him a chance. Let him tell his side of the story. If you're not convinced by what he says, or somehow he's become truly lost to us, then you do what you have to do. You'd have me disobey orders. Uh... Yeah. yeah, no, I'm gonna hear him out. Of all right, I'll hear him out. That's all, all that I ask. Yeah. I'll just have to trust that when the time comes, you'll do the right thing. Before the Pribwin showed up, Dance had me identify a fallback point if we ever lost the police station. It was Listening Post Bravo, an old pre-war U.S. military outpost on the northern frontier of the Commonwealth. It's isolated, and we're the only ones that knew about it. So, there's a good chance that's where he's headed. Okay. Just be careful. There's no telling what state of mind he's in right now. Or if he trusts any of us at all. Right. State of mind. Y you mean he might be like, you know, all sort of suddenly Mr. Roboto. I'm taking the vodka. I'm going to need it. It's going to be all like, exterminate, exterminate. Um, I'm going to need I'm gonna need lots of vodka for this mission. Leave me alone. Okay. Okay, well this definitely officially sucks. How can a machine believe it's alive? It's ridiculous. Mm, I've met many people I ask the same bloody question of. Um Take care of our beautiful man. <laughs> so far we've had one vote for exterminate and every other vote for Do Oh I don't I didn't need a blood pack. I see, this is how disturbed I am. Looting things I don't need. Oh, I was going to see if... Understand how you must be feeling, brother. Dance betrayed us all. Well, did he betray us all? I mean, he was made as a synth. He was programmed to think that way. But, but, do, I don't know. I mean, like, like it, it, it's, technically, is it a betrayal? Yeah. Right. Artillery smoke grenade. New. Vertibird sink. Might want to make some more. Is sorry. Shut up. Serious moment. Probably. Are they sending it, or, or did I, did I just waste the signal there? Did I just waste? Oh God. 
I really could have done with not wasting a signal. I wasted a signal, didn't I? <sighs> a toaster cannot betray anyone. Because see, that's the interesting thing, isn't it? If he is just a toaster, he can't betray anyone. So the fact that everyone says he's betraying kind of really, really indicates, you know, indicates that everyone kind of at some level thinks of him as a person who betrayed them. Yeah. So yeah, so everyone thinks of him as a person. The fact that Maxim was so offended by it shows that even he thinks of him as a person. Because if, he, if he'd really thought of him as a pure object, he would have been, ah, we have identified a weapon within our midst. This is good news. We can now terminate it. Kind of thing. I suppose he's, could also say he's disappointed because... In, in a weird way, isn't it? If, if he does think of it as an object, then, then Dance died for him. But he... Yeah, it's, it's an odd one. It's a really odd question. Where the hell are we going? Uh, Sargus. Oh, it's near the slog. Oh, what a curiosity. Check on Virgil. And now let's go back. Oh, no, wait, what? Oh, I've not discovered it yet. Um, let's go to Green Top Nursery. Welcome uh, aboard, guys. I forgot, I forgot to get my seats ready, because this is going to be bad. All weapon systems are go. Good shooting, Knight. Closing my eyes, closing my eyes. Just, oh my god. Yep, that was revolting. Whew, that's the bad point. That is always the bad point. Oh, daytime has uh, arrived. Yeah. Because it's, you know. Oh, blah, 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 blah. I am like Nick. Nick's a synth, but. Is that ship sinking? Did that ship sink more than it... Okay, what's this? Where are we? Where the hell are we? We're right over County Crossing! I really need to check out County Crossing sometime soon. It looked like the ship sank, right? More than it was already sink. Sunk. Sanked. Sinked. <laughs> God, those trees look awful. <laughs> it's so obvious low polygon things when you're flying past them. Okay, so this is Green Top. Green Top's looking pretty. Pretty sweet right now. Thank you. How are we actually doing there? Sony City Level 2? Really? This place is like, yeah. Taking this sweet time. Okay, I have a feeling. That is one of the um, things I placed back when it needed it. Let's... Let's move that. Where do we want to move that? Where got, uh, uh, I just want to move that a little bit right now, because... We'll have it here so it can shoot things inside the door. If things get through the door, can't I have a place? At least now it can shoot something if it comes through the door. I need to rotate that up.
things run through the door. Bam, 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 bam. You get that sometimes. Some of the stuff you place. Automated radio alarm. What's an automated radio alarm? Don't answer that. I know it's an automated radio alarm, but like... Okay. How are you doing it? You've got water, you got food. Mm, you probably don't need anything from me then. Can't remember the last time I had clean fingernails. What is the what is that complaint for? I can never remember what those complaints are for. Uh oh, we don't actually have a huge amount of things here. Um I got right, the T60 medic pump. I'm pretty sure I can make those. All right, let's have a look. Whoa. That's very... different. Okay, so we're going that way. I won't... Oh, God, could you imagine how nauseating that would be? <laughs> Hearing banging outside somewhere. Think that was a Brahmin. Am I? Somewhere around here. Oh my god, I can do it. <laughs> can bats well drop in. Oh. water all right I guess I know where we're looking power elevator okay it's gonna know I'm here then oh good grief I sort of feel like I should be out of the power armor for this, because I talk all funny whenever I... Going down. I get the whole... impersonal conversation thing. Although... That's... Yeah. Mm. 
He's out of his power armor, which means... Hi, dude. Keep your eyes on the shadows. Something could be lurking there. Dude, what, what are you talking about? I'm lurking there. That's what I'm doing. I'm lurking there. I lurk in the shadow. You look weird out of your I'm power armor. I'm not surprised Maxon sent you. You look... He never liked to do the dirty work himself. Too weird. Take off the hat thing. No, you look even weirder. Why didn't you tell me? Yeah. I wish you would have told me the truth. Did you know? I wish you would have told me the truth, Dance. I might have, if I'd known what I was. Until Quinlan got that list decoded. I thought synths were the enemy. I never expected to hear that I was one of them. If it wasn't for Halen, we wouldn't even be having this conversation. So, what are your orders? Does Maxon even want me alive? You know that one. How could you not know that you're a synth? No, but I don't know what to do. Yeah, I mean... How could you not know that you're a synth? It doesn't make sense to me either. It just feels like a cruel joke. I remember being a child. I remember growing up in the ruins. Everything. I... Suppose they programmed that all into my head. I mean... I feel like I've been in control of my entire life. Making my own decisions and determining my own fate. Even though the proof states I'm a synth. I don't feel any different than I did before. I still feel like a human. Why does any of this even matter to you? You're obviously here to carry out Maxon's orders. Does he even want me alive? And of course not. This is the enemy. No, but I'm hoping there's a way out. No, but I, I don't know what to do. No, I'm yeah. No, but I'm hoping there's a way out. Don't be ridiculous. Look, I'm not blind to the fact that we're good friends. And this must be very difficult for you. I wish Maxon had sent someone else, but that doesn't change a thing. I'm a synth, which means I need to be destroyed. If you disobey your orders, you're not only betraying Maxon, you're betraying the Brotherhood of Steel and everything it stands for. Synths can't be trusted. Machines were never meant to make their own decisions. They need to be controlled. But technology that's run amok is what brought the entire world to its knees and humanity to the brink of extinction. I need to be the example, not the exception. But then there's, there's a bit of a problem here, because by your logic, then, you wouldn't say that. But if you really feel that way, why did you run in the first place? I can't tell you if that's human or machine talking. I see you've been calculated all the way just like a machine. The empathy you're showing me, it's a human... Because you're, you're, you're acting still on behalf of humanity and the brotherhood, which kind of goes... On, Knight. Say what you have to say. <laughs> The empathy that you're showing me, it's a human emotion. I appreciate what you're trying to do, but I've made my decision. I'm ready to accept the consequences of my true identity. Maxon's ordered you to execute me, and I'll be damned if I'm going to stand in your way. So you're just going to let me kill you? Is there any way out of this? If you're so eager to die, do it yourself. Miss me, don't submit. No, I won't do it. But, but I mean, look, just, just, just. Is there any way out of this? We both know. That this is the right thing to do. If no, you we refuse don't. to follow Maxon's orders, you're undermining everything the Brotherhood stands for. <sighs> I can't allow that to happen on my account. But then why? If you're so eager to die, then do it yourself. Why haven't you shot yourself? Why if 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 you believe this, why haven't you done this? If you're so eager to die, then do it yourself. If you leave here without completing your orders, then I'll carry them out for you. Maxon's obviously testing you, and I refuse to be the one who causes you to fail. Oh, well, you're gonna kill you. So you're gonna kill yourself so that I don't get in trouble. He's gonna kill himself so I don't get in trouble. Uh... No. I won't do it, Dan. No. I can't believe you'd risk your life just to keep me alive. Why would you do that for me? I'm pretty sure I can kick everyone's ass anyway, mate. Uh, you're proof that Manson's wrong. You're a synth, but everything you've done has been for the good of mankind. True. You need to face this. Dying is cow's way out. I've already lost my family. Don't remember my friend. No, no, no. You're, you're the proof that Maxon's wrong. 
You're a synth, but everything you've done has been for the good. Let these synths infiltrate and then turn around and go like pew pew and kill everyone? Bad. I know this is tough, but don't ignore me. I'm not ignoring you, I'm thinking. You're the proof that Maxon's wrong. You're a synth, but everything you've done has been for the good of mankind. You're right. How could I have been so blind? I'm not technology that's gone out of control. I've been a benefit to mankind, not its downfall. Perhaps now that you've opened my eyes, that was I easy. Can consider my next move. <laughs> that was bloody easy. What's your next move? Yeah, there's a little problem to deal with. Well, consider it soon because you're supposed to be dead. No, nope, dude, you're my Whatever boy. Whatever you decide to do, I've got your back. Thank you, my friend. But I have my own path to follow. Oh, okay. The only clear choice is for me to leave the Commonwealth. The sooner I make for the border, the sooner I put this behind me. Take my holotags. Use them to prove that your mission was a success, or Maxim will just send someone else to hunt me down. Now, come on. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, okay. But before we do that, let's just... You know the deal, dudes. You're always complaining about it. It wouldn't be the same if we didn't get one last little complaint session as I loot everything, okay? You know you'd miss it. You get to... Just... Just... If you steal my power armor, though, I may actually have to shoot you. For an awful second. For an awful second there. Monitoring. Captain Rutledge ordered me to take over long-range monitoring today. That means four weeks stuck in this bunker with only military rations, old magazines, and a transistor radio to keep me company. However, I'll try and make the best of it by doing my job and monitoring the airwaves for any suspicious transmissions. Maybe next month I'll get a more interesting assignment, but for now it's time to kiss the light of day goodbye for a month. Ooh. Had a strange incident today. I was monitoring the low-band frequencies, the stuff normally used by outdated equipment, when I came across a very strange repeating message. It was in English, but it was very difficult to make out due to all the static. It stopped broadcasting after about an hour, but I made out a few phrases, internal void, dreams are getting darker, and blood runs so still. The only other living thing I picked up was what I assume is a call sign. D-E-K. Deck. I'm going to send those phrases over to translation in Washington as soon as possible. I haven't heard a thing from Washington yet, so I assume they haven't come up with any answers. While I was waiting, I decided to continue monitoring the same frequency around the clock. I tuned in, but haven't heard a thing for four days. I'm getting awfully anxious to hear something new, or for the translation guys to tell me what the heck I had heard. But for now, I'll just have to wait. I woke today to a banging noise on the elevator door like someone was trying to get in. I looked at the readout and it said that the elevator had been in lockdown position since I got here. So that doesn't make any sense. I decided to activate the bunker's defense system as a precaution and broke out an emergency rifle we keep locked down here. I have to admit, a cold chill is running down my spine. The banging continued for almost a, an hour straight, then it stopped. I don't know why, but I have the strange feeling that this is somehow related to the mysterious broadcast I intercepted. Oh, no, no, no. It's been five days since the banging on the elevator, and Washington finally broke radio silence to tell me the holotape recording they received was blank. When I listened to my local playback, I discovered they were right. My tape had nothing on it. When I mentioned the noises I'd heard, they told me that if it was possible, I was experiencing auditory hallucinations from being isolated for so long. They said to hang tight, and they'd send someone out to relieve me. It's possible that this isolation did something to my mind. Maybe I wanted to find a mystery to solve to occupy the time so badly. My imagination decided to take over. Whatever it was, I hope it doesn't go down on my permanent record. Okay. I don't know what I just read. I really don't. Which is weirding me out a little bit. Probably should be hurrying up, shouldn't I? He says. Going over to break stuff down because <laughs> it's better than carrying it all. Don't even know if I need any of this anymore, but hey, you never know, right? Oh, see, he, he's gone up without me. Dude, he's. Well, at least he sent the elevator down before. Oh, 
Oh, can't save in an elevator. <laughs> Interesting. Ground floor. What did I just hear? How dare you betray the Brotherhood? Oh. It's not his fault. It's mine. I'll deal with you in a moment. Uh... Knight, why has this this thing not been destroyed? Yeah. He's not a thing. He's one of your best men. I refuse because the order is still alive because you're wrong about it. Yeah. He's still alive because you're wrong about him. Him? Dance isn't a man. It's a machine. An automaton created by the Institute. It wasn't born from the womb of a loving mother. It was grown within the cold confines of a laboratory. Flesh is flesh. Machine is machine. But he's flesh. The two were never meant to intertwine. Well. By attempting to play God... The Institute has taken the sanctity of human life and corrupted it beyond After measure. After all I've done for the Brotherhood, all the blood I've spilled in our name, how can you say that about You're me? the physical embodiment of what we hate most. Technology that's gone too far. Look around you, Dance. Look at the scorched earth and the bones that litter the wasteland. Millions, perhaps even billions, died because science outpaced man's restraint. They called it a new frontier and pushing the envelope, completely disregarding the repercussions. Can't you see the same thing is happening again? You're a single bomb in an arsenal of thousands, preparing to lay waste to what's left of mankind. You're comparing Dance to a nuclear bomb. Dancers share the same beliefs of the Brotherhood. Dance wants to save mankind, this not destroy wrong. it. You're as delusional as you are insubordinate. How can you trust the word of a machine that thinks it's alive? A machine that's had its mind erased, its thoughts programmed, its very soul manufactured. Those ethics that it's striving to champion aren't even its own. They were artificially inserted in an attempt to have it blend into society. It's true. I was built within the confines of a laboratory. And some of my memories aren't my own. But when I saw my brothers dying at my feet, I felt sorrow. When I defeated an enemy of the Brotherhood, I felt pride. And when I heard your speech about saving the Commonwealth, I felt hope. Don't you understand? I thought I was human, Arthur. From the moment I was taken in by the Brotherhood, I've done absolutely nothing to betray your trust. And I never will. It's too late for that now. The Institute has foolishly chosen to grant you life. You simply should not exist. I don't intend to debate this any longer. My orders stand. It's all right. We did our best. You convinced me that I was wrong to be ashamed of my true identity, and I thank you for it. Whatever you decide, know that I'm going to my grave with no anger and no regrets. Touching. Either you execute dance, or I will, Knight. Uh. The choice is yours. He dies, what happens to me? For the good of the brother, he needs to die, but I won't pull the trigger myself. For the good of the brother, he needs to die. After all the sacrifices I've made and all the battles I've fought for the brother, you need to listen. You owe me that. Yeah. After all the sacrifices I've made and all the battles I've fought for the brotherhood, you need to listen to me. You owe me that much. Very well. I'm listening. If I've earned any of your trust, respect to some of the brotherhood, and gladly keep Dance alive. If Dance dies, then you lose me as well. I can't stay in good conscience if his life means that little to you. Whether he's human or not, Dance saved the lives of countless brotherhood soldiers. Now it's time you saved his. You dude! Whether he's human or not, Dance saved the lives of countless brotherhood soldiers. Now it's time you saved his. You're a stubborn man. So... It appears we've arrived at an impasse. Allowing Dance to live undermines everything the Brotherhood stands for. Yet you insist that he remains alive. Which leaves me with only a single alternative. Dance, as far as I'm concerned, you're dead. You were pursued and slain by this Brotherhood Knight. And your remains were incinerated. From this day forward, you are forbidden to set foot on the Pridwin. Or speak to anyone from the Brotherhood of steel. Should you choose to ignore me, no, you'll be fired upon immediately. Do we understand each other? I do. Thank you for believing in me, Arthur. Don't mistake my mercy for acceptance. The only reason you're still alive is because of him. I'm returning to the Pridwin Knight. Take some time. Say your goodbyes. And then I expect to see you there. We still have the Institute to deal with. 
not happy. No. He's not happy. He is not happy. <clears throat> it took a hell of a lot of guts to stand up to Maxim like that. Uh. At least we know he isn't chasing you anymore. If you stay here, you should be stay safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least we know he isn't chasing you anymore. And get changed. If you stay here, you should be safe. That's an excellent suggestion. I didn't plan on spending the rest of my days at this old listening post, but it will have to do. Besides, you're still going to need my help, and I'll be damned if I'm going to let you wander the Commonwealth alone. Now, you better get back to the Fridwin. In the meantime, I'll start making this bunker more livable. Wait! If you ever need me, I'll be right here. What about Halo? Oh, yeah. Are you going to have a problem killing since course isn't? Can't you come with me now? Goodbye. To Wait. What about Halen? I don't think Maxon knew she was involved, so she'll be safe. I'll contact her and let her know what happened here. Okay. It's the least I could do. Uh. Can't you come with me now? You heard what Maxon said. If I'm seen aboard the Pridwin, at the police station, or at the airport, not only would I be killed, Got but it. I'd undermine his authority. Yeah. I won't do that. But if you need me to take the fight anywhere else, I'll be there. Oh, okay. Uh, are you going to have a problem killing Sims? I don't think so. I don't think he's going to, but like... Let's are ask. you going to have a problem killing Synths? I might physically be a Synth, but my heart and mind belong to the Brotherhood. Freaky. The Institute is still a tremendous threat to the Commonwealth. It's a stupid question. They possess technologies that need to be confiscated or destroyed. I promise you. I won't hesitate to pull the trigger on. Now, I trust you. I, it's a stupid question cuz it's like it's like someone asking me, "Are you going to be able to kill human beings?" Done it quite a lot. Goodbye, Dance. Farewell. I hope the next time we meet, it will be under happier circumstances. Okay. What well, like no, no hug. Okay. So I'm kind of in trouble, but but Maxon's kind of got to keep quiet about this as well. So he can't even punish me, probably, because um, if he does, it'll be uh, everyone knows, right? Where the hell am I? I might get a green top. No, I probably should get on with it. Yeah. We got a convenient helipad as well. Don't mind if I do. Oh. How am I doing for, uh... Okay, I'm not overloaded. That's kind of sad, though. Gopher is a murderer. I, I've been killing a lot of people. Oh, yeah, there's cut content, isn't there? Yeah. Wonder what that would have happened had we gone, uh... With the... You better land here. You better bloody land here. Just saying. You still clip the tree. This has got to be one of the most obvious landing places ever. Still. Oh. All right. And we... Well, we are going back. What the hell's there? Bring building. Oh, building lot and occupants are going back. All systems go. We're clear for takeoff. See, he's going to live. Your minigun should be loaded and ready here to fire. now. Good shooting, sir. Whoa, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh, my God. That was grotesque. Wait. Stand by for landing. No. No, what? What? Let me get back! What just happened? So I'm walking then, am I? 